Okay, let's talk about what you're asking. So if you're talking about interior angles, you have these interior angles. They're on the inside of the two parallel lines. Those are interior. So if I'm talking about interior angles, I'm going to be talking about three, four, oh, sorry about that, three, four, five, and six. Okay? Those are interior. They're between the two parallel lines. Okay? They're here to here. They're inside of the parallel lines. That makes them interior. Now, if I'm going to talk about exterior, they're on the outside of the two parallel lines. So they're on the outside. Okay? So 1, 2, 7, and 8 are on the outside of those two parallel lines. Then, if I'm going to talk about same side, oh, I don't know if I can do this. Let's do this. Let's break it freehand. These angles right here, are on the same side. They're on the same side of the transversal. Okay? These over here are on the other side of the transversal. Okay? So 2, 3, 6, and 7 are on one side. So they're on the same side. So if you're talking about same side exterior angles, same side exterior, you would be talking about these two angles. Okay? If you're talking about that side. If you're talking about same side interior angles, you would be talking here and here. If you're talking about that. Okay? So if I was talking about the other side of the, if I was talking about the other side, this would be a same side exterior and this would be a same side exterior. They're on the same side of the transversal. If I was talking about same side interior, I would be talking about these two angles. Then, if I want to talk about alternate interior angles, remember that these right here, oops, let's do this. These are my interior angles, okay? They're my interior angles. But we want alternate interior angles, so that means that they're not on the same side of the transversal. So three and five would be alternate interior angles. We could also do four. Oh, that you can't even see that one. Okay. So four and six are also alternate interior angles. So three and five, of course, they're they go together and they're equal to each other. Four and six are alternate interior angles. Sorry about the noise outside. Now, if we're talking about exterior angles. So if I'm looking at this, these are my exterior. These are my exterior. If I'm talking, oh, you know what? Is this the one? It does. So, if I'm talking alternate interior angles, I would talk about those two, angle 2 and angle 8. Or I would talk about angle 6, or sorry, angle 7 and angle 1. And if you notice, they're equal in measure. Then, the other one that you might be 
concerned about is corresponding angles. So, if we're talking about corresponding angles, this one is the top left on that parallel line. This is the top left on that parallel line. So these are corresponding angles. This is on the top right. This is on the top right. Those two are corresponding angles. This is on the bottom left. This is maybe on the bottom left. Three and seven are corresponding angles. And I think four and eight are corresponding angles. They're sitting in the same spots, just on different parallel lines. I hope that helps.